tipped off by the criminal underground that my house was being watched and that eventually my house would be hit, my files would be opened, my papers would be taken, and so it came to pass. Uh, as I said in the Rolling Stone article on me, when I came home and found my house consisting of nothing but rubble, ruins, chaos, broken windows, smashed doorknobs, blown open files, I said, thank God I'm not crazy. <laughs> I have real enemies. It's a tremendous relief to discover that somebody really is out. This attitude of mine shows up in my recent novel, A Scanner Darkly, where uh, a narcotics agent winds up reporting on himself, turning over information on himself to, to his higher-ups. The uh, paranoia of the Nixon period was so great uh, by the government and also by the counterculture, the Berkeley people. Anybody like me who grew up and, and, and was part of the Berkeley counterculture became a marked man during the Nixon administration. It is impossible to tell how much of our fears were justified. I mean, there were illegal entries. My, my house was broken into. My files were blown open. My, my papers were stolen. We never found out who did it. My attorney said it was the government. There was no doubt that it was the government. But what they were looking for, I don't know. What they thought I was doing, I don't know. I don't even know if it was the government. But uh, there were many such illegal entries. And uh, an experience like that tends to make you very paranoid, you know, that you are suspected of some crime. The uh, position which writers such as myself hold in America are, those positions are very lowly. Uh, science fiction is considered to be something for adolescents, for just um, high school kids, and for disturbed people in general to read in America. We're limited in our writing to books which have no sex, no violence, and no deep ideas, just something of an adventure kind of nature, what we call space opera, which is just westerns set in the future.